Research has shown that students who further their education beyond high school potentially earn more in their working lifetime than students who drop out of high school or end their education simply with a high school diploma. Often the difference between lifelong success and failure is having a plan of action in place in order to achieve one's goals. Our career, technical, and agricultural education programs are designed to prepare you to further your education after high school, guiding you to be more competitive in today's global marketplace while increasing the potential for future success. CTAE is a huge part of our school. It's more of a college and career readiness program, and it's teaching students how to interact and to be professionals, whether they're going to be in a college classroom or actually in an automotive field or wherever they may be, they can use that talent. So I think it produces a, a well-rounded student when they leave here. You know, a lot of our students plan on going to college. Some of them are looking to go to work right out of high school. If you're not going to college, it's something where you can get a trade skill or uh, like welding or cosmetology or automotive. It's, uh, it's, what it means to me personally is that it's, uh, it's something, it's another option. When I started off in ninth grade, I wanted to be an engineer. Now that I know how to weld, uh, I was going to go in the Navy and maybe welding will help me with that. This is an excellent class for someone who's wanting to pursue an engineering degree um, you know, at Georgia Tech. If you're going to be an engineer or if you want to go to an engineering school it's it's welding is a good background to have because so much of engineering there's so much welding involved with engineering the students that are attracted to this class is are students who really are in um, really want to go into the film industry and some in the broadcasting industry as well yeah, I've learned how to edit a video into something that's going to catch your eye and something to completely get someone to just watch something. They're walking out, they have soft skills, they have leadership skills, as well as working under deadlines. I've been learning about how the digital age has changed and with non-linear editing such as Final Cut, it's become a lot easier to edit. The industry around us is developing, so you know, with the new movie studio coming into Atlanta, the students are, there's more opportunities, more college programs are developing. Our graphics design um, program, we work a lot with Adobe Photoshop and InDesign and Illustrator. We do a lot of page layouts. We work with the Yearbook Avenue with the products that they have on there as well, working towards making the yearbook really the best that it can be. We all don't work on the same projects every day, so it's a little different in a graphic design class. We try to um, dwell on their expertise. Everyone has a different style, and trying to get everyone to work together, incorporate it in the best way to make it look good, I guess. Most of them are freshmen when they sign up for the first in the first class and they have no idea what they want to do or why they may or may not be in that class. I want to go into the business field when I get to college and we offer classes such as business issues and communication so I felt that that would help me. So it takes in getting their interest and holding it and helping them figure out what they want to do in lifelong goals to determine if they'll continue in one of the pathways in business. I've always been interested by business and I plan on majoring in accounting in college so I thought this would be a good place to start. It teaches a life skill no matter what area they're in, and they need that life skill to be successful in life to help seek employment. Most of the students that we have in ROTC are adventurous type kids that like to get up, move around, do hands-on types of things, that like challenges, uh, and like to be leaders. It was many things. I was really shy when I was a freshman, and I saw the cadets for orientation one day, and I was like, wow, they are so motivating, they're so positive, so I wanted to be one of them. I think our CTAE program here has been a dynamic part of the program here because it gives them an idea of what the real world is like. I may be scared, but at the same time, I know I trust in my skills, and I have many things to learn, but I'm, I'm prepared. Students that choose to take the healthcare science programs are interested in all different fields in medicine. In my family we have a lot of maybe diseases and I just thought 
be nice to go into this field and this class really helps choose what field you want to go into. What really interested me at first was to be able to help other people because that's what I really enjoy doing. Um, I'm just one of those people who like to go around and help others that need help. Some of them are interested in going into nursing as a career and we do prepare our students to be able to take the state certified nursing assistant exam at the end. However, many of the students are actually interested in going the pre-medical route, pre-dentistry or pre-veterinary route also. We have students that just, they get in the program because they love food. And once they get in here, they realize there's a lot more to culinary arts than just eating. When I first got here, I just signed up for it because it was like, I love to cook. I've gotten to have a lot more friends since I joined culinary arts. And it's helped me a lot with teamwork and everything that I used to struggle with when I was a freshman. It's one thing to, to learn about something in a book or in a video, but it's another thing to come into a classroom and actually experience it for yourself. The majority of students that take cosmetology, they're wanting to further their education in, um, in cosmetology. They want to be hairstylists. I'm learning how to do nails. I'm learning how to do acrylic. I'm learning about hair cutting and hair dye. Learned about the safety of cosmetology and the history of it. It helps them to decide is this really what they want to do when they make that transition into college. I feel like this class has helped me prepare for my future. Right, the Law, Public Safety, um, and Correction Security Pathway is designed for students that are interested in a career in public safety. The students will be learning history of law, constitutional rights, and in law, the law enforcement officers, uh, specific duties, use of force, reports, uh, patrols, how to set up patrols. There's quite a few uh, topics in that first year course for this pathway. My first year students were doing more on um, problem solving. They designed a chair made out of cardboard. Well, I thought um, with the engineering program it would be a lot more freehand sketching, which is no guidelines, but I've, you know, as I got into the class I realized that very early soon that it was a more stricter drawing style and that everything with the programs, it was very precise so that it was made to the most realistic designs that you could go with. I do have a lot of engineering students that like the graphic design part of it too. Everybody has their own aspect of engineering that they would like to do and everybody's allowed to pursue it. We'll do a lot of fluid maintenances, services, and get into diagnostics, uh, even HVAC for our service technology end of it. My sister, she works at Kendrick's Paint and Body and she works with it around her and her husband actually works on cars and all that stuff so I'm kind of around it 24 hours. A lot of the students we tend to attract are the ones that seem to work with a dad or an uncle or someone in the family or have already had some influence in an automotive related area. But then also we get some non-traditional students in here that just want to learn basic knowledge for life skills and for their own information as far as operating a vehicle and doing light services. When I come into the automotive lab my ninth grade year, I knew absolutely nothing. And right now, I know how to tear down an engine, know the basics of an automobile. I've learned a lot of stuff like I didn't know. Live your passion. Follow your pathway. Find your purpose. Enroll in career technical and agricultural education. CTAE makes the future a reality.